Hey everybody, this is Beach. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Scotty Allen Day. Today is a very exciting day for me because of the fact that I've done so much research on this person. It blows my mind of how big of an influence this person was in the story of rock and roll. Uh, he sold 65 million albums and that was during his lifespan. Uh, posthumously, he still keeps keep selling records. He was like second to Elvis Presley in the 70s. Uh, and so, without further ado, I'm going to talk about him and I'm going to react to his very first song that he uh, that he put on the charts. And we'll see how, we, how this video comes out. So, we're going to talk about Fats Domino today. He was born in the heart of the French Quarter in New Orleans in 1928. So if you don't know what the French Quarter is, that's where you have Mardi Gras, that's where you have all the big bars and the big bands, a lot of jazz plays there, and uh, it, it's quite an event. He was musically inclined, he was so musically inclined that he started playing piano with New Orleans bands at the age of 14. Now keep in mind at the age of 14, so 1928, that would have been about 1942, uh, that he started playing. Child labor laws never existed in 1942. I don't think that child labor laws came in, into uh, effect until about the late 70s. Uh, so by 1949, he signed with Imperial Records. My notes. By 1949, he signed with Imperial Records for his first hit single, The Fat Man. Uh, and that's the video that I'm going to be reacting to today after I talk a little bit about him and then we'll uh, get on to it with the, uh, with the react reaction video. So, uh, he earned over 1 million, uh, he sold over 1 million copies, which was the very first uh, hit single labeled on the Billboard charts. This is also number one on the R&B charts as well. Uh, however, it's the first hit single uh, on the rock and roll charts, giving him the title of the father of rock and roll. Elvis Presley, in numerous uh, publications, have has specifically said that uh, that Fats Domino was the true king of rock and roll. And well, he said Fats Domino is the true king of rock and roll. He's tried to downplay it. Uh, he worked a lot with uh, Fats Domino during his time, and Mr. Domino has also recorded over 45 songs that have been on the Billboard's Top 100, and this also includes Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill was his most successful single, which was also recorded uh, by, uh, it was written by country singer Gene Autry, and then later put out of charts by uh, by, Dom by Fats Domino, and then it was also covered by uh, Led Zeppelin, it was covered by uh, Elvis Presley, and it was also covered by the Beatles. Uh, let's see what else do I got here. And who would have thought of that? For sure I would have thought that his, his uh, hit single would have been Ain't That a Shame, which comes in, to, in at number two on some charts. This song was also covered by Cheap Trick. Uh, Ain't That a Shame was also covered by Cheap Trick. This musician lived like a king as he toured. I mean, he spent his money while he toured. He didn't save, he didn't money hoard. Uh, and spent most of his pre-touring -year, pre years in Las Vegas. This man could fill a stadium in a matter of seconds, but he liked performing up close and personal in 600 seat lounges, packing them with lines outside waiting to see the legend. So today I'm going to be reacting to his first hit, The Fat Man. And give me one second here and we're going to go forward. Do 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 do. Uh, 
a very strong intro. Uh, do, 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 and then the band starts going up a little bit and uh, starts getting a little bit into the uh, live. Okay, very operatic, very jazzy going up into the uh, into the beginning of the intro. Very long intro. Uh, I'm used to more of uh, the rock and roll that goes has a short intro and then goes right into the right into the uh, song. A lot of the country music also does the same thing. They have a short intro, goes right into the song, and then has a lot of the fill in. So a little bit of a more of a jazz feel once you get started uh, before you start singing. Very operatic, a lot of piano. I don't hear any uh, any guitar. I don't hear any horns. So it's solely solely piano. Very jazzy, but uh, the tempo and uh, the, the lyrics go more into uh, more of a, into a early rock beat. Kind of reminds me a little bit about uh, some of the surf music that I've listened to. I just got a little Richard vibes on that one, especially when the horns came in and then the, then the horn solo goes Wah! Kind, of, kind of like the way uh, Prince would do his uh, woo. Pretty cool. Do 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 All right, and then we had a big band finish. Doom, doom. So, very, uh, very temperamentic. Uh, a lot of the little bit of fill-ins that are in there kind of kind of inspires how rock and roll does when they have the uh, the little bit so the little bitty solos. Not so many and not so much in the lyrics, but uh, very strong and very uh, very early, early rock and roll. I like it. It's uh, kind of, kind of gets me in the learning of how uh, it's a it's a song you can dance to. It's a song that you can tap your toes to. It's a song that you can that uh, it's not necessarily headbanger, but uh, it's cool. So basically, an early rock and roll song like that that's breaking out of jazz. Uh, fast dominoes. A lot of um, is. A lot into the jazz because it came out of the French Quarter, and a little bit more into the R&B. But bringing that all in, I would like to hear some more of him later on and uh, see what he has uh, as far as Blueberry Hill and probably his later recordings when uh, when we're watching him when he's playing his electric guitar. 
So I've done a lot of research on Fats Domino and then hopefully the, the next time that I do this I'll have a better video and a better reaction video to the songs that I really feel that it influenced uh, rock and roll. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If uh, if you like it, give me a uh, comment, uh, give me a like, give me a comment in the uh, comment section. If you know anything about Fast Domino, drop it in the comment section. I'd love to see, hear it and add it to my notes to where uh, I can be able to publish it later on. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, uh, notification bell so you don't miss another video. And until next time, keep on rocking.